Giga Dummy is back. Last time we did not win a single game. Time for us to win some games and go back to the sweet uh, 99.8 percentile business. Okay, we get Rithwick who's 2013. We start off the video with the scam opening, our favorite. Okay, bro did not take on the D. We can take. We can uh, hop in the pony, try to push, put the juicer there, castle, take it slow. That seems to be the way. I guess that is the way. He can technically take, take and double the pawns, but uh, we are not afraid. We are saying it's okay. You can get your candy back. It's fine. It looked like some kind of black redeemer gambit if he goes F. Yeah, it does. We are greedy, so we'll take on the candy and ask him to prove this gambit. We are greedy. Give us the candy. Give us the diabetes. So we put the juicer there and we'll castle ASAP. He'll probably long castle and just attack like the madman. If I can trade the queen some minor pieces, we'll just pawn up and completely winning. Pawn here? I don't really buy it. Maybe this is some modern theory, but uh, I don't buy it. Because he's not long castling and I'm more than happy to kind of take, take, trade the queens. Yeah, generally the pawn belongs on d4 and whenever I go c, he can push it to kind of cover this square to prevent my pony from easy development business. So I think that's the tomato ketchup in his face. Love it. Anyways, we are happy to trade. If he takes, we are happy to even trade the queen, hop in the pony. As I said, trade the queen, trade everything, stay pawn up and run. Yeah, he should have done some long castle or at least try to attack. I don't know what the kid is cooking, but uh, he is not the cooking champion. Maybe just castles. And once we take, mm, it's a bad one because pony takes, we takes. He doesn't really want to take. Mm. He doesn't really want to take. Now we even have some checking ideas. We are more than happy to trade. We even have this idea. We are cooking. Check into candy grabbing. We don't got the push. We can simply continue hopping in the pony and focusing on them development. Uh, and if he takes, we take back. If he takes, we take back. And you might say he wins the pawn. Mm, questionable. I really want to push, but I don't think we have it. And the check is not as good as it looks. So he might uh, pressure this out. So we'll be careful. Let's hop in the pony for now. Technically, we're offering him this pawn back if he really, really wants it. But I don't think it's that bad because uh, my focus is on the uh, development. Bring out the juicer, maybe pin him. I don't know. We always have this sneaky check if he always like you know if he takes maybe we can check it out and take it this way or maybe can, we can take this queen also this is always under pressure so he needs to be careful yeah and don't uh, you know over focus on you know, keeping that extra pawn you know your guy is good so focus on you know putting the rook there maybe the rook there bringing out the juicer development give him the candy back sharing is caring Okay, he kind of fell asleep. Yeah, tough choice. He really doesn't want to take. And a move like pawn here to save them pawns feels a bit slow. Kind of anti, like opposite direction of the opening. Like it's a gambit. You should uh, put the fatty queen there and attack. Yeah, he saved it. He chickened out. Uh, we can go there for the pin angle. And now the problem is we even have check trying, tr uh, trying to win this. But I don't think it works as he might have rook here to save it. But this is how, you know, the position is uh, crumbling. Let's uh, bring out the juicer there. Technically, we are pinning. Maybe in some world, we do not mind chopping it off. Don't tell me he wants to take here, here, and just uh, take the pawn and say he's happy. Maybe he can say that. He can claim, but then we have the bishop pair advantage. And at my level, it does not mean anything, but at the grand dummy level, it means something. So we'll try to prove it. So big, big questions. We can take, we can check it out, look for some candy. He went here trying to set up the battery, looking for some business. It is what it is. I really want to just check and trade the queen. You know, no queen, no trouble. He might take, we might take back. He takes, we go there. I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't like this uh, battery looking at us. Can we hop in the pony and attack the queen? We can. And the queen has to sadly go back to save the juicer. I mean, he can go there also. So maybe not the way. Okay, we will be doing a bit of a chicken business. Trading them queens. And saying what? I don't know. We have open a file. We have extra pawn. And we have them uh, good looking uh, juicers. Mm. Fish might not be a fan. Fish might find something a bit more concrete. Again, he can take, take and win the pawn. But uh, we did not care. And if he does not take right now, now the queens are gone. So we can technically push. There's no pin win. So we might be cooking to push. So this is his last opportunity to actually take the pawn back. But then again, we might get rook here into some seventh heaven into this crazy looking guy. So not sure how much uh, is he happy about. Give us the doves, Mr. Rithwick. Take the pony. Let us take you back. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can just do some simple business. What simple business? Put the rookie there? No. Do we want to take? Technically, we don't. Because even if we take, we give him the pair. So, not to be. But this guy has no good square. Not like he can go there. So, I feel like he's destined to die. Sad life, man. Your destiny is not good. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie. That looks absolute trash. I feel like we can just take and take. But maybe he's cooking something. I don't know. Uh, we can push. But then he takes here and wins the pawn. Okay, maybe he's cooking after takes, 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 some takes into some, I don't know, he's trying, he's trying, he's trying. Some kind of takes into takes pressure angle. Okay, if I take the pony, he can't attack here because rook here and then everything is under pressure. So after this, he's technically forced to take it back. We can take back, give a check, so he's forced to run like the chicken he is. And then he has ideas to win this, win this, or maybe go rook here. So maybe, I don't know, we push the pawn, but then he can attack here. Or we can actually grab this candy and go fancy. It's uh, it's uh, interesting. I like this, but the problem is he might win there. And then, uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. So we need something concrete. Hmm. He has activity, which is annoying. Can I push right now? No, he just takes it. So technically we are forced to take, take, check. And then either go absolutely greedy or find something better. I can't find something better. Ooh, I saw something really good. What if we lift the rook? Attack this guy and this guy. Hmm? Both the pieces are lined up on the same square. Currently he has, wait, do we go there right now? Hmm, that is the question. Or do we take, check, check and then go? Both are very good uh, choices, not gonna lie, exceptional choices. So if I go right now, he doesn't have pawn here to protect it, but the amount of pieces that are flowing is crazy. So I kind of like to check and then go there, but he might go there and we take, he takes and it's a bit of a mess. We don't buy it. Rook here is the way. And uh, nobody can save this guy because uh, there is no such thing as protection. What is this? Uh, Pinwin? No, skewer. Some nice uh, juicer skewer for us. If he takes here, we will take. We'll give him the rook and it's fine. It's fine. It is absolutely fine. He took it, the rook lift is there, attack both of them. If he sacrifices, not a problem. If he takes the candy, we take the juicer. He takes the rookie, we take it back. Wait, was check there? Oh, I think I forgot. But is this even better? I don't know. Kinda, in some manner. Because he doesn't have rook here, so maybe it's better. Anyways. Let's take here. We have two pieces for them rookies. We're technically up and uh, we can take here also. So we should be, we should be winning. Yeah, I feel like there was uh, 
too many different ways to do the same thing. Uh, do we take with the rook? That way we not only get this, defend this. Mm, like this way we are actually putting all our faith in them bishop pair. Okay, we check him out. Can I take and go back? That looks greedy because if I go, he goes here, we go back and then he does the same pin win. So let's be a bit careful. We go there. Now we attack both of them and I think uh, we'll win, win one of them. And I think in this game, them uh, juicer pair will dominate. We would need our king to help it out. Uh, but should be uh, easy peasy. We're already pawn up, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, we're already pawn up and we're going to be two pawns up and then we can start pushing. Uh, being not nice, which is uh, really nice. Like if he goes rook here, we take this way. Otherwise, we're threatening to take. He can't uh, push because uh, there was a rook behind it. Okay, we go back. We save this and we attack this. Okay, he's attacking us. We can save it, but this is the way the rookie dies and the kitty cries. Let's go. Plus seven to start it off. Let's go. We got to play our favorite scam opening. He tried this, uh, what is this, Black Mirror, Demir Gambit. Uh, Fish is not a fan of them gambits, but I believe he had the potential. Fish recommends putting the queen here, long casting and attack. Yeah, this d5, was it tomato? It felt like a tomato. He might give him a mustard, but we'll put the full tomato. We castled. And then this c6 was really nice. You know, we are so, so happy to trade. We took took and we hopped in the pony. You know, okay, hop in the pony is actually fine. I was afraid that he could take. And uh, yeah, Fishy is not into taking. Because Fishy thinks after this kind of trade, it's apparently your teeny tiny better. But the better way after taking was to check him out. Uh, make the kitty move and then take here and what happens if we take here this is a bit better even though we give the pawn back so some fishy business obviously he didn't do any of that uh, he did pawn to c3 and again queen check was the way but we went for the pin fish is not into it uh, do we get mustard a bit of mustard and then uh, queen check is uh, yeah fish is not a fan of the way we really dealt with it we are getting question marks and this was just pure tomato. Yeah, there was no coming back out of, after this. Some h3 was needed to ask us to either take or something. Even he could have taken here, here, and here. I thought after some rook here, we are fine. But fish doesn't believe in it. Like you're teeny tiny better, but should be equal. So after this, what was the best way to punish? I did not go rook here directly attacking both of them because I didn't believe in it. I thought he could take it. And apparently after takes, he has this and he lives. So we saw it correctly. So we took the pony, which is the correct way. He took and uh, we could have taken the check and, or this. Both are potato, tomato, both are same. He took, we took, he took, we took. And now we took here and now we have two juicers and life is simple. Next one, we get them plus seven. Now we get white, but the kiddie is two, one, five, five. Oh no. Is London even working at this high level? They say London is for dummies. Are we the dummy? Yes, we are. We are the giga dummy. Okay. Uh, but the difference is my London is not the pyramid London. Our London is with the pony business. C5 is generally the way to break the center. We took, he took. Uh, C said no hopping. It's fine. We'll hop in the pony this way. And my plan is to put the fatty queen there and castle. This guy is actually playing with the pace, real pace. Okay, we're gonna do something dumb. Uh, that is to put the pawn here, go G into H into crazy. King safety is uh, not the thing that we care about. I don't know about this because he can't go there. We would have chopped it off. So not sure. Anyways. Uh, we might take here if we feel like. If he takes, we are fine with taking. We're never ever gonna long castle. We're gonna probably go king here, here, and attack like the madman. It's a spicy position. Spiciness for us. Maybe go goes queen here, mm, attacking this. Now this is under attack, this is under attack. So I think we should take the pony and go something like rook here to save it. Uh, feels a bit of a chicken approach. Don't tell me he has some intermezzo business. Oh, he took with the queen. 
That's so bad. I don't know. We'll bring out the juicer. Would like to take with the queen and maybe we can even uh, long castle. Yeah, now I'm fancying a long castle. That we connect the rooks and we're ready to get some G business. And his chicken is stuck in the center. I don't believe. Yeah, he's putting his uh, belief in this into some attacking here. If I go G right now, I don't think he'll take. He might hop in the pony somewhere. So we need a better way to make it work. Yeah, this is coming. We can go back, but do we wanna? Push. Pony hops here and then uh, we don't have the knockout punch. Roy Castle and I'm already regretting it. Maybe King here was better. I mean, this is not that bad. Questionable. Anyways, we go Rook here, trying to put the Rookie on the open file. If he goes here attacking, we will bring back the Juicer and just save it. Even though it's a bit of a chicken approach, defense is the need. The thing going for us is he never want to castle because this always comes. So he's playing really fast. Mm. He really wants to trade the queen. Kind of that helps him out. I take, uh, relieves the pressure. So we might just go there. Even though it might allow takes, takes into free candy. We don't care. Because queen trade is definitely not for us. We just want to push and attack. He took. Don't tell me he actually takes the pawn. That'll be crazy. He took it. Okay, queen check is not a problem. We'll just walk it out. There's no tactics. But we now attack. And now g6 is really annoying as queen takes pawn might come. Yeah, I'm really not buying his business. And this looks really problematic. Because if he takes, we take here. Maybe he says it's time to castle. And this guy is bad because he's stuck behind the pawn. And you know, he castles, we take, he takes with the rook, we get this. It's a mess. But somehow I feel like he's in bigger trouble. Generally, whenever you get g6 break, this f or f5. But this time we take here, so it's not there. So this time this breakthrough works like a charm because the e6 is really, really soft. The queen wants them candies. It's pressure time. Technically, he can hop in the pony and defend this way. And after takes, just take with the king and say, it's all okay. That's one way to defend. So maybe choice one is to castle, walk into the frying pan, or hop in the pony, put the kitty in the center and say, my, okay, I didn't see that. But that's also a choice. We'll take here because I don't want him to go F here. We need the open G file. So he used the rook to save it. It's good and bad at the same time. Anyways, put the rookie on the G file. His attack is nowhere. Sacrifice is whatever. His pony can hop. But we are looking at the G file. Some checking business. Some taking business. Some sacrifice business. This guy, if this pawn was not there, we would have been chilling. But not to be. So we have check, but he can block it. So we don't win this. And the doubling will take some time. And the sacrifice is a bit too much. Yeah, also this is protected. Okay, so this is interesting. It's very risky because it loses control of this square and this square. He's hoping pony hopping into some checking business. Like maybe check into check. Mm, he's living uh, dangerously. I almost want to go check right now. And if he goes there, we just take there and we bully the kitty out. So that's the slaughter. So the only option he has after that is to go there. And I feel like we can sack the rookie and slaughter the chicken. Bro, that feels like tomato. I'm not gonna lie. Feels like tomato. Like here we sack and it's over. And if he goes uh, there. Bro, how is he 2155? Sacrifice the rook. Bring in the other rook and fry the chicken. It's frying time. Let's fry the chicken. This is a pure troll. This is the only way. Resign town for the kitty. Let's look at this beautiful London game where he did not let us have fun because uh, he said no pony hopping. But we went a bit uh, crazy. Fish is directly into G, which is interesting. Uh, we took a bit of a slow approach, got the G, got the edge, and then queen here was annoying. 
I thought after takes for a second, I thought he could take here. But apparently this pony here attacking this and once the queen goes there, or uh, we can wait this pony there and them them nightmares. That's crazy. What after a check? Just walk it out. Take the pony, take the rookie and you're winning. So that B2 pawn is always uh, poisoned. Uh, we took, queen uh, took, uh, we got the juicer out, took, took. And then we just castled. Simple life. It's dead equal. Nothing is happening. And then we put the rookie on the open file trying to attack. He tried attacking the pony. We saved it. Still nothing going on. Queen here was a bit uh, ambitious. Trying a bit too hard to trade. Fish uh, doesn't hate it. And Fish actually wants us to take, which we did not. He took the pony. We took it. And apparently, that is a pawn blunder. I don't buy it. I really like G5, but fish is just, fish is going crazy. Fish like takes. Oh, and we can't take here because there's rook takes into rook takes into queen check into a dead rook. Oh, so that is why this G5 break was not working. So maybe we had to take with the queen and try to make it work. But uh, once he hopped in the pony and we got the G6 break, we were chilling. And the best way was to castle and uh, chill in the frying pan. Like, say, so what? You take it? So what? You take the candy? So what? That was the way. And I thought he might go pony here, which was again a bit risky, but apparently it doesn't work. Rook here and we are attacking. But he chose the rook way, which I did not see, but that is the top three fish's choice. We took, took, and we put the rook on the open file. And I think... It's equal. We are teeny tiny better. Pony hopping is tomato ketchup. He could have gone uh, maybe rook there, rook g8, that's done something. Hop in the pony here. How big of a tomato it is? From zero to plus six, full tomato. And queen check is the way. If he goes uh, here, I feel like we can just take there. We're threatening this, we're threatening that, we're threatening all the business, and it's a slaughter. Uh, queen check is not a problem. We'll run. Maybe he can check us there, but our king is the best. And he's getting fried. Rook here does not help him. We have queen check and uh, bye, bye to the chicken life. So he did not do that. He tried to run. And then we saw the rook sacrifice. Sacrifice the rook. Do we get the brilliant? We get them brilliance. And then the rook left. He resigned because there was no way to save the chicken. Bro, two quick wins? Are we lucky or the chess is chessing today? I don't know, man. We lucky? We get double white? London, stay positive and win. Oh, let's stay positive and win. Okay. Uh, a bit of a different move order. Pony into this was fine. Whenever the juicer gets out, don't go the E, go the F to go G, H and bully the juicer. That's how you do this London. You don't build the pyramid. You don't castle. Your chicken is the giga chicken. If he's dumb, you would have trapped it. No need to push here or here. Just take a chill pill. Offer him the juicer trade. And if he trades, uh, don't take with the queen. I think a lot of uh, dummies like the 2800s will tell you to take with the queen. All the IMs and GMs. But it will take with the pawn. And my idea is to hop in the pony. Take this way and put the kitty here. Uh, nobody would like it, but I like it. That's all matters. Okay. If he castles, same as last time, we are ready to roll the kid. So he's in a bit of a pickle. He might choose long castling, but we'll see when the time comes. The idea behind this is to connect the rooks. Looks absolute giga troll, but we believe in it. Also, we can hop in the pony, put the rookie on the open C file. That's the advantage of taking with the pawn. Okay. Is he planning to castle? Because our rook is ready to attack. If he castles here, we're going to go B attacking. If he castles here, we're going to go G and attacking. There is a pin, but technically we can't take here right now because the protection is there. So let's prepare it. Are you going to castle long and walk into the frying pan? Or are you going to castle a short, walk into the... Oh, B5 seals. Questionable. We can't take there because it's protected. But once the pony goes away, there is pressure here. So let's hop in the pony to open up the C file. Maybe we go queen here, just attacking this. And maybe in some world we get the G break to open up the H file. 
Right, this is interesting because if he takes, we take. Maybe we could have done that. Ooh, I think we were a bit slow as he connected them rooks. Now this is not as effective as uh, the rooks protect the rook. Hmm. Anyways, we'll go queen here, just double attacking the pawn. Vanilla idea. Pony here seems a bit dodgy, so something like rook here should be the way. But then are we cooking with this? We might be cooking with this. Hmm. I think that works. Pro takes, we takes, we take the rook down, take the pawn. Classic uh, deflection technology. Bro, why are we playing so fast? Bro, this is rapid, but we are playing actually bullet. Uh, so if he takes the rook, we'll not take back. We would have taken this. Hmm. So he went there, which seems a bit dodgy. I feel like I can push. He can't take because the pawn will hop and poke it out. And uh, let's say he saves the pony. We take the rock, take the pawn and chill. Hmm. So that seems to be the way, right? Yeah, take down the rock, take the pawn. We are pawn up. Check is a thing. Uh, but we believe we can go there and we are not. We don't fear it. You know, our chicken is being chilling. We got themselves uh, the candy. Maybe we even take there. Or there okay attack this he can't win we got them protection he can go here or go back home and cry technically we can even take there make this soft but like this is soft this is soft this is soft mm. let's just take right yeah because uh, we can grab them all oh he just let the pawn die right yeah he let just the pawn die the pony was protecting it but no longer and now we grab this we grab this we could grab even that made up like three pawns he's looking for some dumb dumb pawns that is uh, protected so i don't know let's hop in another pony or tag everywhere bro these games bro how is he 1900 he just hung the rock there's a pony there that can take the rook. And what is going on on the chess.com business? Bro, I don't even know what to look in the analysis. Like these 1900s and 2000s are just uh, hanging out free pieces in a rapid game. And they're playing with bullet pace. Okay, so we got this London setup where we pushed our pawns. We offered him the juicer trade. He took it. Fish is into queen takes. We took with the pawn. He offered us a trade. We defended it. All good so far. Nothing crazy. You put the king there. I don't think fish recommends it. Yeah, fish is into some uh, queen business. He put the queen on the sea. We put the rookie on the sea looking for some of them uh, tactics. And then uh, g5 was an option, but we were in no rush. So we pushed b trying to get some cheeky. And I think b5 was a bit questionable. Maybe he gets a, a tiny bit of tomato. And then we hopped in the pony trying to double it up, pressure it out. He did the king business. Apparently that was not the way. Apparently pony here was the way. And instead of a queen here, we had immediate G, which I didn't believe in it. I thought he could take, take, and then go there. But then we go pushing. Then he wants to go some E and take it slow. So we went uh, queen here, just attacking the pawn. And the best way was to save the pawn the other way. Yeah, the G break was actually a problem. So he kind of got uh, back to back tomatoes. We got the G break. Again, he did not need to take it. He took. Windows update, bro, stop them updates. We took and now the problem. If we took the rook, we would have taken this first, given the check, won the rook, won the pony, won the game. So he saved the pony and then we got the good, good g6 break. He can't take, the pony will hop, check out the kid and take the rookie. He tried uh, running, but now we just took the rook. I took the pawn, pawn up and we are happy. We are not afraid of the check, the king is been chilling. We can take there, we can take there, we decided to take there. He blundered another pawn, we took that one, we took that one. Now he tried grabbing some candies, but that candy was fake. He got the tummy ache and cried. Three really, really troll games. I don't even know what to say. Like, how is this 2000 elo chess? Luckily, we get three whites, so let's get them London rolling. London, London is the way, pony there, juicer there, D there, okay, same as last time, F, G, H, and attack, that is the way, whenever the juicer gets out, bully the juicer, again, this kid is playing with some real, real fast pace, okay, you could have gone there, 
there and there all are reasonable choices we're going to do the same thing that is to put the juicer there and trade he attacked the juicer we don't want him to take and double the pawns and if i hop in the pony this way my juicer will get stuck so we'll hop in this way looks a bit unconventional but it gets the job done one day the juicers will get trade and we will hop in i'm not interested in taking and doubling the pawns because that is not the focus the focus is uh, uh, development if he takes we are happy to double the pawns because uh, uh, the, the thing is we open up the c file okay now he might be looking to long castle but let's put the rookie on the c file since we opened it takes is always takeable so no problem we can uh, put the kitty there because that's where our kid belongs maybe we hop in the pony back or do we hop in the pony there just to be very annoying we can take it slow we can go a trying to get some b b5 business trying to prepare that once he castles we cannot attack okay he's not castling there he can castle there and we don't have the breakthrough because he created a blockade so it's a bit annoying okay let's just take the juicer and hop in the pony Fish might not be the biggest fan of it, but it's fine. How oh, he took it the pawn. Uh, kind of surprised, not gonna lie. I thought uh, queen takes was the way. I guess he's gonna copy her homework and put the rook on the C file. Uh, we hop in the pony. He can't push because this one is soft. So he's kind of stuck with them pawns like this. But uh, what are we cooking? That's a good question. Bro, he's not castling. I don't know what he's going for. We can go there trying to kick it but we don't have anything let's just put the queen on a good looking square connect them rocks and maybe we sacrifice probably not the protection is there king bro what is this 2000 playing now i kind of want to sacrifice here uh, because if he takes with the pony we have a uh, queen takes pawn here into this business so this let's say he takes me back with the pawn Draw, offer to sir, draw. No man, no draw. Let's focus. Uh, if I take here, uh, bro might, uh, I don't know, take there because he can't let the pawn die. We take back with the pony. Again, he can't take. Can he take? Because we kind of technically sacrifice two ponies. This, 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 he takes, we check. Uh, he brings back we take and the kitty kind of runs away mm. it is a risky sacrifice not gonna lie very tempting let's say if he does not take and just uh, moves the queen somewhere then uh, we can take here give a check so we don't hang the queen and then we take back we getting like three pawns for it and a potential to attack it is very nice looking not gonna lie very nice looking very tempting so what's the problem takes 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 and he takes with the pony we check him out uh, and he can technically run and we take and the kitty runs away i don't buy it i feel like we have the chance to go crazy and we will go crazy sacrifice the pony he offered us a draw but we might have spilled tomato ketchup on the board let's see we are here this gives us plus 10, 7 if we win and we hit the sweet 2100 0, 0, which is uh, fantastic okay we took with the pawn we took with them ponies there's nothing on this side protection is there if he takes we will take on b we are technically gonna be two ponies down but we believe in the attack we believe in it let's see the fishy fish it out so he has two choices either to take or move the queen there's nothing crazier left if he takes here we will take on b and then he'll have another bazillion choices to save with the pony run with the chicken or do whatever so i think this is a good time for him to use his uh, teeny tiny brain yeah bro is going for the pin win but i think that's just bad as we can take this with a check we can take that with the check also but this one is better because it doubles the pawn and technically we can just push the pawn and win the pony back right now so either we take candy grabbing and we have uh, three pawns for a pony or push 
the queen will move uh, somewhere we take the pony he takes back and we take here i kind of like that also mm. yeah we spoiled his choice he can't move the pony because this comes with a check so after this he would need to make the queen move somewhere and we will get this with a check which is good and then uh, what are we doing uh, we can take here looking to enter and technically we would be up a pawn mm. so we can go probably queen here to say no entry and stuff so we don't win this which is a thing can we take here because this feels more crazy like he would need to save there by some kind of rook here Roy, why is you offering draw man take a chill pill and then uh, we don't have this which is a bit of a problem mm. we don't got that uh, and the sacrifice in sacrificing yeah i'm a bit sad that we're gonna be a chicken man chicken way is the way we just attack and win it back mm chicken life yeah bro spamming the draw out man not a fan maybe that was better because it looked exciting but we chickened out okay so he moves the queen we take the pony he takes it back he went there uh doesn't make a big difference he's attacking everywhere but it's protected maybe he can slay say after takes he can take here but uh, doesn't make a difference we're two pawns up i messed up the mathematics I thought I was one pawn up. Okay, I thought he'll go queen here offering the trade, but he realized if the queen gets traded off, he's just two pawns down and losing. So maybe that makes more sense. And if I check, he has rook here, so he's fine. Mm -hmm. Do I go pawn here trying to kick the queen? Because I don't want him to get this. We can technically just go queen here to save this, save this, and maybe prepare some queen here business. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. We're two pawns up. If I trade my queens, my game should be easy to convert. Simplification. Also, my king is kind of being chilling, so queen trade would be extra helpful. Like, even this into doubling the pawns is pretty good, because these passers should carry me to the glory. Pro went here, attacking. It's defended. I was about to push, but then I realized it's actually just defended. So, do we go look here? Kind of trying to uh, double them rooks, you know? yeah not only we save the spawn we're preparing to double the rooks and uh, rook on the open file is uh, the way we need to find a way to trade the queens okay he attacked us oh we can go queen here offering the trade we can go queen there trying to say hello we can go queen there but uh, this seems fine we don't lose time we attack the queen probably queen goes back saying no trading or something because he doesn't want to trade, obviously. Hmm. Not only he takes it, it'll be a bit anticlimactic. Okay, so what is the kiddie up to? Takes or back? Probably back. And then what are we doing? We don't have the pin win. Yeah, we don't have the pin win as he can just take it. But that's kind of good for us, right? Like uh, take, we trade the queen, trade the rook, and we just take back. But then he can go there and maybe this is weak. Questionable. After push, if he does some random business, we can technically take. So that is pretty good. So even though it looks questionable, I like the idea. This is better than this because I would want to have two passers, two clean passers. We don't have any check to win the queen, right? Yeah, I was about to say this is the way. Take the queen. Oh, he had intermezzo. I missed it. I forgot after rook takes, he has this intermezzo. Luckily, I think we're still being chilling because we still have two passers, but uh, definitely a big miss. We'll activate the kid, check him out and try pushing our pawns. And we are winning, but I missed out that intermezzo check, which uh, takes us from plus two to only plus one. So do we check or do we start pushing? I like the check. We will push. And uh, these two passes should carry us to glory. Like uh, maybe rook here. Ideally, they say put the rook behind the pawn, not on the side. Which makes pushing easier. So we'll do that because we just want to push, push and push. Here we go. Start pushing. King is uh, doing nothing. If I push here, the king will sit there. So we need to be a bit careful how we push it. 
this it can go there and again set so we need to be a bit careful probably these two pawns are a distraction and our king can go there and eat up all the candies that kind of plan would be the need of the r so we have three minutes so we need to be a bit cautious of our tiktok time three minutes we might uh, you know pick up the pace i don't like this at all he's trying to get something there which is not there and now we can check does he sit there? Mm, not sure, not sure. He, uh, I thought we could check, but then he takes. And if I go there, what is he up to? I'm going to go there with the idea to put the kid there and push. But I think he should go king here. Try to be as annoying as possible. Yeah, this is what was a bit of a problem with the putting the pawn. Yeah, he put it, but the idea is to go there. Instead of going there directly, we went zigzag. And now we attack this. And no world he can... Uh, okay, he gave the pawn. I take, bro takes, he takes, he wins this. So maybe I push. And then uh, after he takes, we take. But then Rook here... Oh, he's creating play, which is good. Not good for me. Do we go king here? Oh, man. Uh, we... This, uh, yeah, this push was a bit reckless. So I take, he takes, and he's fine. Which is not fine at all. And if I push again, he takes, takes, and goes rook here. It's too active. Oh man! So we take and go back like the chicken we are, kinda. Not the chicken fan, but we are. Technically, as check, check, trying to deflect this and win this. Oh man! Oh no no no! We take, he takes, bro. We have the passer, but how do you win this? Why is the rook pointing so tricky? Okay, we're just gonna wait. That's what we're doing. Check. We'll just wait. If we push it, it's fine. We're not gonna take it right now. Okay, the pawn is running, man. I got the... Bro, why did we make such a mess out of it? Man, we are so bad at rook pawn endings. He had clear passes, but you couldn't figure out. This king actually stops both of them. It's annoying. Okay, can we do some uh, business like uh, rook somewhere? Okay, we're gonna push. The plan is we're gonna give take this pawn with the rook and let him have these two and somehow win these two. I don't know, man. We're trying to make some big claims. Pawn here, king there. He might just check us. We go rook here. Bro takes. We take. And we say our king is active and his king is far, far away and we clean up the house. I don't buy it, man. I really don't buy it. We put rook here to cut off the king and we are saying these two shall win it. I really, really don't buy it. Okay, we go there. Trying to walk the king. Also, we can uh, corner. Okay, we'll push the king even further. Just far, far away from any business. So I tried to walk into this. We are trolling. Let's attack the pawn. <laughs> okay, he goes rook here. We win the pawn. And I think with the king far, far away, we should win it. Horrible rook pawn ending conversion being two pawns up. Uh, we take, he takes. We start pushing. We start pushing. Rook will go there and our king will go there. And uh, we should be fine. His king is far, far away from any kind of funny business. And this pawn will never ever run. He would need to sacrifice. And I think even though we troll like the champion we are. We realize that we can blunder both these pawns. To get just one passer and clutch it. Hmm. Maybe we need to build up a pyramid. Like he sacrifices this in some manner to get the king here. I don't know. He can cook something. Let's stop the passer from going crazy for now. Check is fine. We're going to push. We're going to go king here, king here and push. Slow, steady push. He's going to start walking. Bro, he's walking. Oh, no, 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 no. Why is the kid so good? And if this pawn lives. Pawn here, king here. What are we up to? What are we up to? Oh, he can't go there, king here. There's a queen. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the way. Uh, takes, takes, king here. So this is the way, right? Takes, takes. If he goes here, we're back in time. So this uh, rook blockade works out for us. Oof. 
Takes, takes. He's not in time. So we make the queen and we get them dubs. Oh, bro. Where is the queen? Oof. It was, uh, it was close. Now we need to do king and rook mate in 46 seconds. We are the Hikaru, so we know how to do it. Oof. The only problem is we shall lose some time. So we need to really pick up the pace. Okay. Corner the kitty out. Baby steps. Baby steps. Corner him out. 44 seconds we losing not enough time which is good and he's getting cornered which is fantastic uh, he should go there not to be we corner him again he goes out he goes here put the kitty in the bed and smash the kid smashing time let's go according to the game review we played with 78 and apparently we had some misses and five mistakes so we did make a bit of a hot pot mess not gonna lie so we got the good good done done and then uh, apparently this was a mistake apparently fish is like take it and double it we didn't care we took 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 a lot of question marks we literally don't care and then this is where the game went interesting we took it out and then he put the fatty yeah look okay, here was a bit troll and here we went crazy sacrifice is not suggested the way is to hop in the pony we went sacrificing which is apparently a mistake it goes to minus one so we'll give ourselves the tomato we deserve he took with the pawn we took and the best way was not to go queen here which gives him the tomato was to take here uh, we take there and then if he goes the pony back uh, queen takes is a slaughter i thought he could go back but apparently queen here and apparently he just gets rolled down oh we sack the rookie Oh, no, no, no. And he gets absolutely fried. Mm. So the only way, and he could not run also, right? Some running. Yeah, it's apparently equalish. Or black is a bit better. But yeah, the way was to take. No, no, no. Uh, to, yeah, to take. Wait, wait. So we took, he took. Yeah, the way was to not go queen here after taking the pony. Bro, I'm brain in braining. So the way was not to take there. Bro, oh man, focus, focus. So we go back. We sacrificed the pony, which was a tomato ketchup land. And if he took with the pawn, which he did, we took it back. The only way for black to fight for equality was to take it. And after queen takes was to run with the chicken. That was the only way. Even though it's like minus 0.8, we are in the game. Obviously it did not happen. Uh, he went queen there and luckily there was knight here and knight here. Our brain actually went to a couple of, for a second. Apparently this was better. I didn't realize it. But like king moves somewhere and you just go there and win it back. I guess I was too happy to take there. Inaccuracy. And then I was actually thinking of taking here. Which is apparently the tomato land. A miss. Yeah. And... I thought he'll go rook here to save it, which is actually his choice. But there's also king here to save everything. That's crazy. So we controlled our greed to sacrifice and just uh, pushed the pawn and got them the ponies and we were chilling. Took the pawn, we were two pawns up. And then there were a lot of ways to deal with it. We doubled them rocks and then we tried this break, which Fish is not a big fan of it. He took, we took, he took. We took, he did the intermezzo and he's two pawns, uh, not two pawns, one pawn down and it is winning. Apparently this was bad. Apparently check was the way. It felt good to activate the kid and apparently he could have gone F here trying to be active and uh, it's bad but he's trying. So he went rook here which felt natural. We gave a check, we started pushing. We put the rook behind the pawn. We started pushing and B5 was the way. And then we tried king here which uh, apparently is not. But it is fine. Yeah, where was the way? We took, he took. Rook b1. Sacrifice the pawn. Oh, that does make a lot of sense. I was always afraid that rook he'll take here. But the thing is, this pawn runs away. And then the rook will be always be so sad that we can just clean up the house. So this was the technique that we completely missed. We went passive and then this became really, really annoying. Luck and it's like, yeah. From plus three to zero. Apparently uh, push. And after here, instead of uh, wait, taking the pawn is also a draw. That's crazy. It's still a draw. I thought you cut off the kid. But no. 
No? Oh, the only way is to get some rookie and focus and kind of repeat. Yeah, some kind of rook say the pawn saves the rook and it's a draw. Yeah, so we missed out. Uh, he tried this uh, rook business trying to go for the candy, but we kicked the kid and apparently that was bad. Our way to victory was rook here and then went this way. How bad? How is this bad? Because you can get rook here, save the pawn. And then there's no way to win it. Ooh, he went greedy grabbing. We took it and then my life became simpler. We started pushing the pawn. We allowed the king to walk, but not to be. And we saw this uh, very nice. Like if I had gone here, apparently even this was winning. But look here works because takes, takes. And the king is not in time because we can go there and make the queen. So some uh, quick calculations. So he decided to go here to stop the pawn. But the queen came. We sacrificed chopped off the pawn and we knew how to do the king and rookie mate so today we won four games back to back gaining 30 points of rating and going back to our good old 99.8 percentile let's go